Welcome back to the video on service testing with iXload. I'm Stephen Duffy, Senior Systems Engineer. In this video, we will fine tune and add features from the configuration that we used in the first video. So let's get started. The first part we're going to do is add in DNS. So go up to Network 1, click on DNS 1. And this gives you the feature of using either a pre-existing DNS service or you can be using iXload as a caching. To add in a DNS service, which we're going to be using today, we're just going to add in here with the DNS IP address. And then I'm going to put in the domain name. Now, if you want to use the caching instead, But today we are going to be using our DNS. I'm going to go back into the HTTP client and instead of an IP address, now we're going to be putting in the host name. Next, we're going to create a pool of commands. This is used whenever you have a lot of users, but you want to create a lot of flexibility and uniqueness. So to do this, click on command pool, then add command, and then you choose which command you want. I will build out the first one and then I'm going to be adding in multiples. Server name, the page, and then any other additional options. Now give me a few seconds while, while I build out other commands. Okay, now as you can see here, I have added in additional gets and posts. This gives your clients an ability to actually randomly choose which command. Now, if you want a certain command to be used more often, this is where the percentages come into place. And so what this is saying is that get three is going to be used 60% of the time, while post six is only going to be used 2% of the time. Now we can add in your command pool for your commands. So we're just going to click back over to commands. We see it says get SSL. We can say replace with. Go down to command from pool and replace. And as you see here, now it's not going to be any one specific command. It will pull from that new command pool. On here, you can pull in several com commands from the command pool. And so it's just going to randomly pick one from each of these each time. Finally, we will show you how to use iXload to do a Wireshark capture and view the packets. This will help a lot of times, especially whenever you have encryption involved and you need to validate. All you're going to do is just come in here, you can click on the control enable, and now that's going to enable the port that you're testing with to do full packet captures. Now at this point, we are ready to run another test. actually go over to the device itself, we can see all of the connections coming into here. Now as we switch back to iXload, we can go into the analyzer, go and view the packets. Now as we scroll through the packet capture, as you see here from the clients that we're using at 135, we are actually doing a DNS query to, to use the opnsense.unqnet.com. Then as, as we scroll down, there's a lot of, you can see here in between the TLS connections, TP, the continuous of DNS queries. So you get to fully see what does it look like now what we've just shown you is how to set up a little bit more advanced web service validation test for client performance. Thank you for listening.